Hi, Jason here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you an easy way to use layer markers to time animations. And it's especially useful if you have any sort of template that you're building like this, where depending on the, the piece of footage or anything else within the scene, depends on when you want the out animation to happen. In this composition, for example, if I wanted to change when that out animation happens, I would have to grab all the keyframes, I would have to move them over, then that would also mess up where I've cut certain compositions where I want them to cut on or off, for example. It can be very fiddly, and if you have to do it multiple times, then it can get very annoying as well. So this is the perfect solution if you want to be able to easily change any intros, outros, or anything like that. So let's jump in. And what you want to do is create your normal composition where you have your in. You want a slight pause in the middle and then you want to create your out like I have here. And then we're going to take this build composition and we're going to make a new composition with this pre-comp inside. I'm just going to change the color of my composition to a Let's just make it, I should make it white actually. There we go. And then the first thing we want to do is right click on our layer, go to time and enable time remapping. And the keyframes will appear. And we want to create a keyframe at the start of our first move, which should be at the very start. And then when that first move finishes. So what we can do is press tab and go to our build comp or double click it in the project window. I'm going to press U and I'm just going to find that last keyframe which is here. I'll press tab, go back to our build comp 2 which I'm just going to rename render comp just so we know which one's which. And then I'm going to create a keyframe there. I'm going to go back to our build comp I'm going to scroll forward to where our outro starts to happen, which is here. I'm going to go back to our render comp and hit keyframe again. And we do want another keyframe at the very end, which should automatically be created here. If not, create another keyframe. But what you don't want is any more than four. So we want pairs for each section. So we have one pair of keyframes for our intro and one pair for our outro. And that is all we need. We don't want a fifth. So if, for example, your outro stopped here, which ours does, so I will just show you that. We create a keyframe, and then we will just delete that random keyframe at the end. So we are left with our four. And then what we're going to do is, we're just going to create two layer markers on our composition. So, Hovering the mouse over the layer, let's right click, go down to markers, add marker. And I'm just going to right click on that marker, go to settings and name this in. These names don't have any impact on how this works. So you can name these anything you like. I'm just going to go with in and then I'm going to just move further on in the timeline, right click on the layer again, go to markers, add marker, Right click on that marker again, settings, and I will call this one out. Okay, it doesn't matter where these markers are for now, but I'm just going to move that to that first keyframe. And what we want to do now is get our expression. I will put this below the video for you so you can just copy and paste. So we're going to highlight the entire thing, going to copy, then we'll come back to our composition and we're going to hold Option on Mac and Alt on Windows, I think it is. And we're going to click on this stopwatch next to Time Remap. And that will open up our expression box. And we're just going to paste the expression into that box. You can ignore this, you don't need to change anything, so you can come straight back out. And that's it done. So if I just play this through, Nothing will be different because I did put my marker where our keyframes were. So let's just move this marker, our out marker, a lot further forwards. 
and obviously that is where the out now happens. If I was to move this right towards the end, that is where the out will happen. I may have to, in this circumstance, extend our composition timeline just so it will fit in. And our in, if I move this forwards, nothing will happen until we get to that marker. And it will trigger those first two keyframes. We hit the out, and it will trigger those second two keyframes. If you get any errors when you paste in um, the expression, it may be the first error you may get is if I was to delete this marker. So if, for example, you don't have enough markers, then you will get this error where it just says that there is no keyframe under two and it's just referring to a bit of code in here. So if you do get an error, make sure you have at least two markers. You can have three, it will ignore the third one. So as long as you have two, so if I was just to add another marker, that error will instantly disappear. And you may get another error if, for example, you don't have enough keyframes. So if we only have three, you will get another error and we'll need to make sure we have that fourth keyframe. And there we go. That's how we can use layer markers to time our transitions. I hope that was useful. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon.